We're Connor and Amelia, and we live full-time in our 2004 Lance truck camper. After noticing signs of water damage, we are finally tearing into our home. Stick around to find out if our camper is totaled or if we can rebuild it better than ever. Hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Living Large Camping. Today is a very exciting day because Woo! it is finally time to take the camper off the truck so we can start tearing it apart and renovating the entire inside. We're so excited to see what we do and just put our personal touch so stay tuned for that. Step one, take the camper off. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> It's never a super stress-free process, but that's only the second time we've taken this camper off the truck, and it's gonna be there for a little while while we renovate. <laughs> Step two, take everything in the camper outside, including the mattress, which I do not know how this is about to work. Yeah, we've got some ratchet straps. Um, he's watching a video, so let's hope this works. <laughs> See what happens. I've read online that you can fold the mattress in half with ratchet straps and then that'll keep it shut. And then I guess you just take the mattress off the bed, but let's see if we can get that to work. All right, well, we did it. Let's see if it'll go through the door. Yeah, that wasn't easy. I can think of more fun things to do on this mattress. That is not one of them. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think if we tilt it and open it up in here. Yeah. It'll just open this way and we can just take it out the door. Yeah. Okay, oh. Here we go. <laughs> not gonna be able to hold this thing for a while. That was gonna be way harder in my mind, but mattress is out. Step two, complete. Check. <laughs> Next thing we have to do is take everything out of the cabinets and tackle that corner of the wall right there. Whenever we bought it, the siding and everything was all smooth, no wrinkles or anything. But as it got colder and we started camping in colder weather, it started to accumulate a lot of moisture. And I don't know if that's from hot breath all night long, and just the angle of it, it sits there. But I wanna pull the wall off, make sure that the front of the camper frame is all good to go. And if it's not, we're gonna have a really big project on our hands. <laughs> Stay tuned. So I just drew this line straight all the way across the front of this because it's still level where the front siding is. And now we're gonna cut across this line and pull this piece back. And hopefully that'll give us a better idea of what it looks like behind here. Moment of truth. Definitely some water in there. All right, now we need to go ahead and start pulling out this carpet because if the water's coming in right here, there's a good chance it has come down this angle right here. So let's start ripping that out. this piece out because it's in our way.
Last step is the under the bed carpet piece, which is kind of scary because there could be moisture that builds up under the mattress. Let's get that pulled out. And here we have a look at everything without the carpet on. Definitely had water come in on this spot on the nose right here and it pulled up down below the mattress. May have had some moisture gather under the mattress as well. So I think if we cut a line halfway through, replace all this section, that will do just the trick to get this thing back structurally sound. And then we'll have to seal all the holes on the outside and make sure we're good there. But this is our home. We're gonna rebuild it right. And hopefully it doesn't take months on end, but we're here for the project and let's get after it. All right, so we've got the frame studs here and here and then everything else in here is pretty soft. I know it's insulation, but we're gonna pull all of this out and then we'll start pulling this front wall out as well. I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanted to go ahead and get that line cut because when I start pulling these pieces, it's gonna peel all the way down the bed. And I'm gonna try to leave this back part here because I think it's okay. At least it looks like it from the top. So now we're gonna start pulling more of the front wall because that's gonna be the bigger issue, I think. And I know we're gonna have to rebuild quite a bit of that, but we're just gonna keep getting at it. Here we go. We have our first bit of mold back here. All right, this is way worse than I thought it was gonna be. This wall right here on the side is completely rotten out. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, that's bad. There used to be a frame piece that ran down there. And obviously, that is no longer there. I guess we're rebuilding a whole new frame. All right, so it's been about a day. I've done a little bit of cleanup over here to try to make things look better. Uh, I picked up an oscillating tool, that way it'll help cut the walls out and I think it'll really speed this process up because we've got a little bit of a time crunch now. So we need to see exactly what we're working with all over the place and here's what we got right now. Some of the floor is out, back wall is good and then this section right here will need a full rebuild. All right, so we're gonna cut this piece right here. That way I can rebuild the back part, but I'm gonna go ahead and add one more support just to keep everything structured for now. All right, so we got some 10 inch pieces, which are gonna fit right there. And we're gonna go ahead and do one on the other side as well. With this in here, now I feel comfortable cutting this one out. So that way we can dig out the old rotted plywood behind. Now we need to pull this main one by three that runs the length of the front. And we're gonna start taking these pieces off so we can get to rebuilding. Also, it's about 100 degrees up here. Good work though. All right, here's a look at our progress so far. Pretty much all of the rotten wood is out of the camper right now. So now it's almost time to start reframing. I've got some pine one by twos and one by threes, and we're just gonna try to build it back how it was and probably add some extra strength to it just cause there's not much to these frames. And since we're already building a little bit, we might as well over strength it. We're starting to test fit some wood here. We've got these pieces just loosely cut, but I traced the outside of the camper on that piece of wood and just kind of dwindled it down until it fit. And then we're gonna continue that frame on there and then we'll build frame pieces up from here.
I think it looks good. Now I'm gonna take it apart and glue everything and put it back together and let it dry overnight. All right, I ended up working a little bit last night and we have these two here tied in with glue and pocket screws. And then we have the corner piece, the bottom frame there and the top frame all glued in, drying. Now we're gonna cut some 10 inch stringers for here and then we're gonna cut some pieces to go up here and then we'll worry about this wall last. go every piece of frame that was taken out and rotten on this part has been replaced one thing we're missing is this little crossbar right here but it's looking really good now we're just gonna wait for all the glue to dry i'm probably gonna go buy some insulation because we're gonna have to cut and repatch all of those areas and then we'll start fixing the actual front wall and stuff i guess it's exciting stuff taking this as a just in case for insurance purposes here's the camper it's got all the jacks down. It has extra support under the legs and tie downs on the back, just in case the winds are really bad tonight. Hopefully nothing happens.